no learning when kids cut school. And tonight we are tracking a bill that looks to get them back into class. In tonight's Crisis in the Classroom report, Liz Bateson breaks down the legislation. It's a major problem, especially in Providence, absenteeism in schools. It's already 48% of students that have been chronically absent. That means almost half of students in the state-run district have missed at least 18 days of class this school year, according to data from Kids Count, which is why Senator Sandra Cano is introducing legislation that would hold parents accountable and provide resources at home. We do have in our urban districts a lot of students that have to support the parents it could be either taking care of their siblings because they're working two or three jobs. They have food insecurity. They do have also health issues that prevent them to go into school. The bill would launch an at-home intervention pilot program in two public high schools for students who are chronically absent. So what would that look like? It would be social workers, maybe community-based organization or third-party intervention that would be working with the schools to be able to talk to the parents. Naomi Barrett has a daughter who goes to Providence Public Schools. I know how important it is um, for families to get the right support, especially because they've navigating um, different challenges. She says launching the program at two high schools is a start, but she'd like to see the legislation implemented in every district across the state. Every district has a different policy, um, and that really makes it hard for districts to really um, be accountable for those policies. It makes it even harder for families to really understand what supports they have. Kano says they're still working on how to fund the pilot program if it passes. In Pawtucket, Liz Bateson, NBC 10 News.